Nick, let's talk about the Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins have done a ton to rebuild this roster on the offseason. I say rebuild. They weren't really missing too much. They just added a whole bunch of more good pieces on top of the already good pieces they had. But, Nick, there's another pick in this draft they made that I think was going to be even more special than people think. It shows the foresight of the Dolphins front office and kind of how they are building to keep this team relevant for years to come. Yeah, Miles, when we first saw this pick, we thought it was a good pick with the report you dug up. I think it exemplifies this is a really outstanding pick and a smart smart move by Miami. But before we get to that, Dolphins fans got a question for you to answer in the comment section below. As always, look, we're now going through the draft. The draft was about a week ago. We've been through the offseason free agency trade periods. Let me know in the comment section below. What was your favorite move the Miami Dolphins made this entire offseason? There's a lot of options. Was it a coaching hire? Was it a guy that got cut? A guy you brought in? A re-sign? A trade? A draft pick? Whatever it may be, let us know your favorite Miami Dolphins move in the comment section below. And stay tuned to the end of today's video to hear a word from our partner of today's video, and that is Neuro. They've got a great product that gives you a fast and easy energy boost. We take it all the time before the show. It gets us the edge we need to get through the podcast. So stay tuned to the end of today's video to learn more about product and get access to our special discount code. But all right, Miles, what you got? What's the latest out of Miami? Yeah, Nick. So I think the Miami Dolphins are building an elite track team on the offensive side of the ball. They've got tons of speed and waddled tons of speed and Tyreek Hill. You look at a guy like Raheem Moster, he had some of his best years in Miami, but this new pickup of Devon A-Chain shows that they're continually going after that style of player, and he could be the perfect replacement for a guy like Moster. I'm going to get into the article, though, right now, Nick. Uh, it says, The most intriguing pickup of the Dolphins' 2023 NFL draft class, however, was undoubtedly Devon A-Chain, whom Miami selected with the 84th pick overall in the round three. A-Chain is well known for his speed, and that's something McDaniel has been fond of working with, particularly in 2022, McDaniel helped veteran Raheem Mostert, who ran a 4.3840 at his pro day, achieve a career high 891 rushing yards as well as 202 additional yards through the air. Mostert, McDaniel's resident speed demon from his time with the 49ers, eclipsed 1,000 total scrimmage yards in 2022. He's under contract until 2025. But with Mostert now hitting 31 years old, Nick, and with A-Chain in the room, the question naturally arises, what can A-Chain bring once he is the one that has to carry the torch? And I personally think, Nick, he can bring a lot to the table because we are talking about one of the fastest players in all of college football. I think he ran a 10.18 100-meter dash, so that's like elite track level speed type of guy uh you know he's got great cuts you know he look they say uh so it's come his comp say he looks like a pinball machine on tape just bouncing off guys getting around the backfield doing whatever he has to do and i think this is a guy who would be a perfect raheem mostert replacement piece what are your thoughts on the devon a chain pickup Miles, I think you hit the nail on the head. And look, I know a lot of Dolphins fans, a lot of you guys like the Mostert pickup, and he was a heck of a player last year for Miami, and he is a good player. The reality is, and we all know this in our heart of hearts, running backs, they get north of 30, they start to wear down a little bit. And you'd never want to be in the situation, which the Dolphins, if they stick with Mostert for the long term, could be in a contending situation with an aging running back. We see a lot of teams get in that battle, and it really wears them down. It really hurts them. The Dallas Cowboys last year are a great example of that. They were a contending team. They had an aging running back taking half their carries and Ezekiel Elliott, and it really limited their offense a lot of the time. You don't want to be in that situation. Now let's look at the Dolphins as their contending window. If you look at the fact they pick up Tua's fifth-year option, so he's on contract now through 2024, they will most likely lock him up to a long-term deal after that. So if you look at the next you know, 2023, 2024, 2025, maybe 2026, I'd say it's their four-year run for a legitimate title window. Maybe three or four years, it could be 2025, depending on how they structure Tua's eventual extension, because the first few years of Tua's long-term deal will likely be very Tim Freely. That's what happened with uh, the Mahomes deal and the Jalen Hurts deal and things like that. So what does that mean? It means that they have to they have a good chance to win big, be a top flight Super Bowl contender this coming season, next season, and the season beyond that. And then after that, they'll probably have to retool their roster. So if you look at most going into this season, he's going to be 31, like you 
said, he's getting up there in years, right? Maybe he's got one more good year left in him. You slowly integrate a guy like A-Chain into the offense, who I think you brought up a good point, Mice, is a good fit. He fits the kind of role that the Miami Dolphins are looking for. So that way, going into 2024, remember, you're still a top flight contender in 2024. You have A-Chain slide in. You move off of Mostert. You probably have to release him, open up a little bit of cap space. That's fine. Just the business of football. And you don't miss a beat. In fact, you could probably even get better. And that's what contending, team, contending teams do. We look at the Kansas City Chiefs. They already had a lot of quality running backs. They got up there in age. They move off them. They sign in that they slide in the young guy, Isaiah Pacheco. He becomes a Super Bowl starter. They win a title, right? That's how it works, right? And that the running back position, you have to be willing and able to plan ahead for the replacement to come in and push the veteran out. And I think that's exactly what Chris Greer, McDaniel, and company did with this A-chain selection. And I think it was a really brilliant move by the, by the Miami Dolphins getting this guy into the fold. Well, Nick, and I also want to touch on one thing. Some people talk about the size of a guy like A-chain. It could maybe a slight against him, but I don't think he's that far off from NFL size once he gets some NFL strength and conditioning under his belt. You look at a guy like Mostert, who's 5'10", 205. A-Chain's 5'8 and a half, 188 right now, but I think after you know an offseason of NFL strength and conditioning, he'll probably bump up more to that 195 size, closer to 200 pounds. So he's really not that off size-wise for a NFL speed back. And that's exactly what this guy is. In college, some of his best traits were his ability to recognize the hole and hit it with speed and intensity. Bursting through the line, he can make big-time home run style plays. So I just think this guy is even better of a fit for this most role than some of the Miami fans may have realized at first. Just because this guy is actually lightning quick, he can hit the holes, and he is a very, very good pickup for this coming season. And one more thing, Mice, and this is kind of a theme we've been talking about this week, is smart teams figure out the solutions to problems before they happen. You don't want to go into next year, the 2024 season, and Mostert is old, he's fallen off the cliff, and now you got to find the replacement running back and you're struggling, and maybe you have to overpay because you want to stay on top of contention. What do you do to avoid that problem? You get aching now, so that way when the problem comes up, you already have a solution ready to slide in. That's what smart teams do. That's what Chris Greer and the Miami Dolphins did, and it's another example of how well the Miami Dolphins have been run, especially this offseason. All right, Miles, we would like to give a special thanks to our partner today's video, Neuro. That's right, Nick. And I want you to go with me on a journey really fast. I want you to imagine this. It's fourth and goal in the big game, Nick. Your team is relying on you to make the big time game winning play. I know you've been in this situation before, Nick. The stadium is roaring. The clock is ticking. The game is on the line. But if only in that moment, you were able to have some neuro gum. Neuro gum will help you stay concentrated and it gives you a burst of energy without a nasty crash. That's right, Mize. Neuro has thoughtfully curated ingredients and does endless, endless lab testing, which means that you can reach the right state of mind safely and consistently. That's the most important part. It gives you a clean burst of energy and focus without the jitters of coffee or any of those other energy drinks. That's right, Nick. And if you click our sponsor link in the description below, you can enjoy energy, calm, and focus whenever you need it. 